welcome again friends in this video tutorial we'll be talking about uh, very briefly about the rickettsial diseases and as you can see uh, I am uh, I've already made uh, this particular uh, table to show you what are the different points that we need to cover so it's kind of memorizing stuff but uh, uh, let's see what we can do but uh, we need to know several uh, different uh, symptoms and disease caused by rickettsia so just talk about it uh, almost four different types of decayed cell diseases and their causative agents that's all okay so let's begin let's begin with the first one and the disease uh, the first and most common disease by rickets CRs are epidemic uh, it is called typhus right so it is called common typhus or epidemic typhus this is very very dangerous situation of epidemic typhus that take many lives many many lives there okay and the rickets associated with this type of uh, condition is uh, remember example is rickets proazeki so rickets is r proazeki okay so this is the causative agent and the vector which is associated for this disease because is in all rickets cell infections there must be association of one and another vector because they always contain several uh, arthropod vectors like lice uh, there's mite tick and so on and also they can have some certain rodent vectors too right so uh, in this case the vector associated with this disease in that case is is lice so it is carried by lice and the disease host that means the organism or di the disease occurred in which animal the disease host for this is obviously humans uh, along with human the disease host is also uh, it's nothing else it's only the humans uh, as host for this disease and the common symptoms for the disease is a rash which is hemorrhagic rash hemorrhagic rash is always associated there and the brain dysfunction is already associated so brain dysfunction is also there okay now the second type of organism that we need to talk about here and that is so let me write the second type organism here is a spotted fever the disease spotted fever this is also caused by several rickettsia type the type of rickettsia caused spotted fever is rickettsia akari rickettsia akari and as the term suggests spotted fever it actually uh, occurs in, in the symptoms for this is just pox like symptoms pox like symptoms a blister formation in skin in in in, in uh, face and in hands and different regions okay so these are the examples uh, of uh, the, the the symptoms and also associated with fever headache myalgia nausea and many more things that I'm not writing here and the vector associated for this disease is mice the vector associated is mice and the disease host is both human as well as mice so human as well as mouse okay that's it now let's take the third one and the third example here let me take a different color let's say this yellow and uh, here it is uh, the third kind it is called the rocky mountain fever rocky mountain fever and this rocky mountain fever is caused by rickettsia rickettsi rickettsia ricket C is the example. Now, I mind you, people may thought that rickets say rickets is a organism that causes ricket, but I always tell students that rickettsia never causes ricket. That's different organism to cause ricket. Rickettsia are always associated with different uh, types of fever, hemorrhagic fevers. Okay, so rickettsia rickets is associated with Rocky Mountain fever, and where it is high fever and influenza. So it's very very high fever and influenza like symptom influenza like symptoms are associated and the host here vector here is ticks ticks are small arthropod vectors that are associated because I told you that always certain arthropod vectors are associated here the tick is associated and the disease host here in this case is uh, obviously human being along with humans 
other rodents some rodents are also associated okay now let's talk about the last one and the last one here is scrub fever this is another type of fever scrub fever so you can see always different types of fever spotted fever rocky mountain fever scrub fever now scrub fever is caused by rickettsia oriensia oriensia and the vector for that is mite and the disease host is human and along with human other rodents symptoms are air hunger uh, and also high fever and also in this case the in invasion of the lymph node is done by those rickettsia uh, orientia and then it causes splenomegaly mostly it is uh, spreading through lymphatics so lymphatic trouble problem splenomegaly which is the enlargement of spleen it can result and invasion of lymph node and ultimately it can cause pneumonia pneumonia okay so these are the different types of rickettsial diseases caused by different type of rickettsia different species of rickettsia and the vectors associated with that common symptoms and the disease host which you, you all need to know for your exams that's why i made this small video for your exam just look at it and it's easy to go so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you guys